it's going to be a conversation starter um, when you come out of the theatre. It's a play of protest and we have our own protest within that. We are certainly looking back at Look Back in Anger. It's basically where the term young and angry man came from and at the time it was a very um, releasing voice to hear on stage. Whereas now, 50, 60 years on, we can see uh, different things inside that play uh, from that time and yet relate to it because at the moment it's quite a changing time as well where it's kind of post-recession and everybody's wondering what are we actually doing next and there's a certain feeling amongst young people of wanting things to change and they certainly felt the same this generation. It mm. feels very current at the minute as well even though it's 60 years old but it feels very contemporary I think. I don't think it feels like it was written 60 years ago at all. Mm. You'll never do anything. And he'll never amount to anything. I think with the production, what we're doing with it is we're kind of have license to challenge it, you know, which we, we got to give props to our director, Annabelle, for, for letting us do that. And, um, you know, the themes of the play that brings up a lot of, you know, misogyny and, and class um, kind of issues. And instead of doing it, you know, quite plainly, we've, we've been allowed to challenge it and, you know, disrupt it in a way so yeah. I, think, I think that keeps it interesting yeah it's rare you get to interrogate a play as much as this yeah. in the rehearsal room usually you kind of if you can't make a line work that's on you as the actor you know yeah. um, but actually we were really given license to interrogate yeah. and question the lines that we say um, and rebel which is always fun yeah but also we still do the play so I th yeah we still honor it yeah we still honor it so i think any fans of the play will be as pleased as people who find it a challenging play and that we're you know standing up to it <laughs>